good morning and welcome to a very foggy Winnipeg okay it's gonna be a little bit of a rollback but while I'm thinking about it I got a call from uh, uh, iTech computers yesterday afternoon and they they said that the video card that I've been expecting has come in on Friday uh, like today is Tuesday on Friday I have to take my computer in they're gonna put in the better card so that I don't have so much trouble uh, editing and manipulating 8k video which is kind of important to me but probably nobody else so I don't know how things are going to go on Friday. There probably will be an episode, but there there is the possibility if things go really wrong, this will be the first time in almost uh, in about four years that we haven't had a daily episode. But I think we'll have something. Maybe uh, maybe on Thursday I'll make sure that I've got lots of a rollback going on. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, also on Friday. I have to go into uh, to the uh, hospital and have a CT scan. So, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a busy day uh, uh, this coming Friday. Three days. Uh, okay, so what have we got going on here? Well, we got our little... Uh, well, it's not really a crane. It's some sort of a derrick. Uh in place. I glued it up last night. It should be fairly solid right now. Uh, we'll lift our uh, holder downer off that's holding it nice and straight both ways. It's as near as I can tell I got it perfectly uh, perpendicular which I believe is the way that they they had it on the deck when they had it erected. Uh, anyway uh, Let's uh, roll back and see how it is we got to this place. Uh, and then we'll continue on. Okay, so the plan is we're going to move in. And the, we want to be able to see all these little lines here. And I think if I was to... Now, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. If I have a white background like this, uh, we should be able to see the, those lines should show up. So I'm just going to recompose here a little bit and move in. And at least that's the plan. Okay, I don't think there's any use putting on the macro lens. We can see the individual lines actually better uh, doing it like this. At least that's my opinion. Okay, let's move on. It almost wants to stay there by itself. I think once I get a little bit of extra thin in those holes and soften them up a little bit, um, I'm going to have to think of how are we going to have guy wires though to make it look realistic because it, it just wouldn't be it, it just wouldn't be standing there all by itself. Now 
is that going to be enough to soften everything? I don't know. The far one doesn't seem to want to be dropping into the hole. Now I know you didn't see me doing it, but I put a little bit on the far peg. Oops. Maybe it's a case of they just don't line up too good. Sort of wiggle it around here a bit. I think it will meld. When I let go of it, I want it to be about as perpendicular as possible. So I'm going to have to move the camera out of the way and take a look at it, because right now I can't really... It, it looks pretty good from, from the side, but but uh, I want to be able to look at it, you know, bow to stern and stern to bow. <laughs> Actually, I think it's probably going to be alright. Okay, I think I've pretty much got it here using the holder downer and then uh, tomorrow maybe we can figure out how we can run some easy line at least from from the across the top from bow to stern just a, just a little bit I, I don't know if uh, I need to put four lines or, or just two would look really believable um, I'll decide in the morning so we'll see you in the morning Well, it is morning, and our holder downer here has been on for about 14 hours or so, and this is going to be the first time I'm taking it off. Okay, the uh, where we glued it into the deck is solid. Now, my plan is I'm going to drill a couple of holes in, in the deck and I'm going to put in uh, eyes. And uh, I, I would think I don't want to have it too far back and yet I want it to be you know, believable. So I'm thinking that now I'm I'm noticing that on 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 this right here, I don't know if this is a little blob of paint or if this is actually something that's supposed to be there. And uh I, I'm thinking that maybe that might be a good place to, to put a put a hole, because it's already something there. And equal distance on the other side here. That's that's my thinking right now. So I'll just uh, measure the diameter of these things because I've forgotten how much they work out to. And uh, find a, a drill bit just slightly larger and yeah. At least that's the plan. Yeah, I don't know what this was supposed to represent. But it, it does appear to be right in the middle of everything. So we're going to just, just take advantage of it here. And uh, using Mr. T's poking device. Oh, don't push down too hard now. I'll just try and make a tiny little bit of a pilot hole there. Now we're going to want to do the same thing equal distance on a center line here, which is probably about that one right there. Whoop, I fell out of the fell out of the groove. Okay, just keep going back. I'm just sort of eyeballing it what I think is about equal distance here. I should by rights be measuring it, but I'm not. Now the uh Our safety thing is kind of in the way. Maybe I'm going to have to take that off for when we actually do the drilling. 
Uh, does that look does that look right, or should it have been maybe a couple of millimeters more to the stern? Uh, it's going to be okay. All right, let's uh, let's recompose here. Okay, now here is my thinking on this. What if I was to leave this, instead of putting it all the way down, leave it up just a little bit like that, and uh, CA it in, and then paint it black? It might look, it might, I don't know, it just might sort of add to the, to the detail. Um, that's just my thinking on this. Let's, uh, let's, let's just raise it up a little bit here. Okay, if we were to, maybe I should raise it up a little bit more. We'll use Tony's tweezers here. Don't want to pull it right out either. And I, I want it, I would, I would like it to be, uh, in this orientation right here. All right, now. Resample. Now I'm just going to put put some CA thin, not the quick setting because I, the quick setting has a tendency to, to to glue it into the plastic just way too quick, almost instantly. Now let's lower that down to about there. Now hopefully that uh, that CA was on there thick enough. Yeah, I will check it in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's let's uh, do the other one. Okay, using a pair of dividers here. I can see that this hole that we made, a pilot hole, is uh, about five centimeter or five millimeters too far to the bow. So we're just gonna redo it and. I'm quite sure that nobody's going to notice that little, you might call it the pin prick. So we've got a new pilot hole going on here. Okay, let's make a hole right here. Okay, now let's not be drilling out the wrong one. found with these little bits that I often will have a, a problem with them breaking. Just let me get my, uh, get this right here. When I am removing it from the hole. So, well that one wants to just fall right in. Um, okay, where is my, my CA thin? Okay, about like that. Well, maybe it could go just a little bit further down. Now there's actually probably about six inches of line here. Plan is to go up to the, I guess maybe the pulley, although that wouldn't be realistic for this type of wire. 
uh, see if I can go over the pulley and down onto the one on the other side here on the bow. Okay, now here is where we're going to use UK Jason's idea of using uh, self-locking tweezers. Um, but I don't think they'd work as a weight. I think they're too heavy for a weight for this stuff. But they will work if I can lay the tweezer on the deck. These uh, self-locking tweezers are not machined real well and they they don't grab evenly. But I think that'll hold. Nope. That's probably going to be alright. Okay, now we're going to want to go up. Oh, that's not going to work. i got to go a little closer here. Got to get a different grab on it, just right on the very end. There. Now we're going to have to rethread. Careful. And I've, I've moved my steady rest. I had a steady rest platform running right across here that I was leaning my hand on. And so now I've got to do things a little bit differently. As you can see, my boo-boo isn't getting better. Okay. Yeah, I think if I was to just grab onto this now. Now this one seemed to go better. Lay it down gently. Okay. Now we, it's okay to have a little bit of stretch on this. Okay, I can I can position this later. I just wanted to. Yeah, now now it's symmetrical. If I had to use this hole right here, it, it wouldn't have looked right from the side. Whereas right now it's sort of symmetrical. Okay, now I think if I take a little bit of uh, my extra thin here I mean my uh, CA thin that cures we should be able to nip those uh, extra lines off then we'll move up to the top here and see what we can do about this now I had forgotten that when we made this uh, boom up that this this uh, little pulley on the top was actually made up of a couple of pieces of photo etch now I think in in reality, this this piece of uh, fo uh, this uh, cable that we're p 
putting on here would not go so far down into those discs. It's, there's two discs here, one beside the other. And, uh, but I don't think anybody's going to notice. I sort of hoped that it would ride around the circumference of it, but that wouldn't be realistic either. And I was going to have to tell people that, well, there was a, a locking mechanism that the uh, that the pulley could be locked so that the disc wouldn't go or the, the top of the pole wouldn't go back and forth. Uh, anyway, I, I guess that's the way it's going to be. I, I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I need to bother putting any CA glue or anything on here. We'll, we'll just let the, let the friction of the rubber, you know, there's a little bit of tension involved there. Okay, the, it's as good as it's going to get. Let's, uh, let's uh, cut, cut it off now where the eye bolts are holding it. doesn't want to nip. There we go. Okay, I was noticing in the monitor that this looks an awful lot like a piece of brass wire, copper, copper wire, which is exactly what it is. Now, I don't want to go too far down because I'm going to end up probably touching the touching the deck. I just want to take the glint off. Okay, uh, my side looks good. I don't know how your side looks, but okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the front. I meant the bow. Okay, now I'm noticing here that the bow appears to be leaning back a bit. You know what? That's loose. I might accidentally pull that right out of there if I try to straighten it. Now, let me check the monitor. Just a little bit more here. I don't think it'll come out of there. I, th I think that probably what's going to happen is that the uh, the binding, you know, it's it's binding. If you know what I mean. Oh, hey! I just realized. This is the same color gray. It doesn't matter if I get it down there. Yeah, it's uh, 77 on, on that uh, on that deck. You know, maybe getting some paint. Oh, that's too much. Maybe getting paint down in that hole is going to act like glue once it dries. I know it, I know this looks like a different color, but it's not. That should uh, that should when it dries, it should be the same. I did get the seventy seven, didn't I? Okay, uh, a few minutes has passed here, and and uh, this is pretty much dry here. But you know what? This is not seventy seven. This is the sixty six. Okay, well it is what it is. I don't think I need to take another little bit of 66 and go over top of this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. From arm's length, it actually looks quite natural. Well, I'm noticing that our bird seed is about, oh, almost half gone already. That I, The seed I put in yesterday. Those, those little birds, they must be uh, trying to fatten up for the winter time. Kind of like it looks like I've done. <laughs> I was just thinking a few moments ago, you know, when I put the, uh, the Rodney in the case, I'm going to look a lot different from when you saw me putting the hood in the case a few months ago. <laughs>
Yeah, I've been too much into the bird seed, it looks like. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got uh, almost 1.50 in the afternoon here. I, got, I had an unexpected coffee visit here a little while ago. And uh, it was a nice visit. I don't, not complaining, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it cut into model making time here. So I'm going to have to call today's episode quits. Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>